Hello YouTube model building community. Chris Chapman here with the final finished 55 Chevy convertible Bel Air. This was a tribute built that I did for my dad. It's a car that he had when he was younger. I almost guarantee it wasn't this nice, neat, shiny, clean and pretty, but still he had one and these are the colors that he had on it. I had a few problems getting this one here completed and it took me some time but finally with the exception of one of my windshield wipers that I painted the uh, blade on sat off the side to dry and cannot find it anywhere so I guess I'll be doing a junker so that I could buy a kit so I could get a stupid windshield wiper <laughs> but this is my first kit using a photo etch system painted it pearl white came out looking really really nice I got a again first time using photo etch system and really like the way that that added the detail got nice shiny pearl effects to it this one here was a fun build kind of aggravating on some of the paint it's been in the purple pond three different times but ultimately I think it came out was worth it I do have one little blemish right down here where a drop of glue got away from me and tried polishing it out and stuff got it the best I can so don't look at this side please let's just focus on the rest of it <laughs> so I've got the uh, soft top on it now. Got it to where I could put on the drop down unit. Get that in there. There we go. Got the interior all done, everything chrome, photo etch, window cranks, door handles, photo etch seat belts. Uh, did the uh, photo etch dashing gauges and everything kind of hard to see all that chrome's making it nice and shiny also got my Ken's fuzzy fur dice in there that really added some nice accents and matches the rest of the interior kind of hard to see some of the chrome trim and stuff in there again I think it came out looking pretty nice I'm quite happy and very pleased with it got the motor all decked out here let me get that opened up here got it all wired decals got wiring let's see if we can get that to focus in there Oh, come on. Yeah, it looks like that's about as good as I'm going to get. It's kind of weird, all that detail on the spark plugs and everything, getting it put down where it belongs. And with the exception that it's coming off the cap and rotor, you don't see them down on the bottom. But, oh well, you can see it was there. Made an attempt. Really like the way that this came out. Just really happy with it. Well, that's my update. I'll uh, follow it up with a little bit of a slideshow. Oh, and yeah, I've got my uh, fingernails painted by my cousin's 15-year-old daughter at a daddy-daughter fun nerdy deal that we did the other night. And one of the things they got to paint our fingernails, we got to do their hair. So both of us came out looking pretty goofy. <laughs> I'll get some of my fingernail polish remover out get that taken off here this afternoon but got excited to get this finished up and forgot it was on. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it and hope you enjoy the slideshow. Thanks. Bye.